Hi friends, welcome to the daily current affairs quiz discussion. Guys, in these discussions, I am going to cover everyday top 5 current affairs from the Hindu newspaper where I frame questions as per the recent trend of the UPSC. Further, I also help you learn and master option elimination trick which can help you solve many questions in the UPSC prelims paper. Along with that, related to the current affairs, whatever PYQs are there, I am going to discuss that also. So every day, around 5 questions, the current affairs, new questions which I frame and around 5 questions PYQs I am going to discuss. With this, let us start our discussion. Today is 2nd of April and let us see the first question. Guys, the first question I have framed is on the heat waves. So please do read this question. So statement 1 says what guys? The number of heat wave days in India is increasing at a rapid rate every 10 years. Statement 2 says one of the main reasons for increasing frequency of heat waves can be attributed to climate change. So guys both the statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1. Therefore the answer will be option A. So you should know what are heat waves. So guys this is the article from which I framed this question. IMD has said that in the coming two months, April and May, there will be heat wave conditions in India. And this heat waves will be particularly more than the previous years. Why? Because of two reasons. One is the climate change with increasing temperature. Heat wave conditions are increasing. And also this year, there is a chance of El Nino. Okay. So what are heat waves? Guys, heat waves is defined as a condition when the day temperature is above the normal temperature by 4.5 degrees Celsius. By 4.5 degrees Celsius or the average temperature is more than 45 degrees Celsius for two consecutive days that is called the heat wave. So this is a cutting from the IMD website. So heat waves can come both it can come for the prelims and it can come also in the mains. So today in the DPS I am going to discuss what are heat waves and how can we manage heat waves. The second question let us read guys how many of the following post is not mentioned in the constitution the governor of RBI the governor of state the attorney general of India and the chairperson of Niti Aayog. So guys we can easily mark out the correct answer that governor of state and attorney general of India both are constitutional posts and the governor of RBI and chairperson of Niti Aayog are not the constitutional posts. So we eliminate this we get the answer only two guys why I have framed this question guys today is the 90th anniversary of Reserve Bank of India. Guys, Reserve Bank of India was created on 1st of April 1935. So this is a very, very important topic. You can expect questions on this, this year. So guys, you can see this kind of questions now, which of the following are constitutional bodies are very popular in UPSC. You can see in 2023 prelims only UPSC has given this question. Consider the following organizations, the National Commission for Backward Classes, the National Human Rights Commission, the National Law Commission and National Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission. How many of them are constitutional bodies? So guys, the answer was only one. National Commission for the Backward Classes is a constitutional body. So answer was only one. This is a statutory body this is also a statutory body and this is an executive body okay guys so such kind of questions come in upsc prelims examination you see how i am framing the question that is why i say everyone please practice ppp ppp are the only initiative which is aligned to the upsc and every day i'm going to discuss a lot of pyqs also and i'm giving you the reasons why i'm framing this question okay next question the island is an uninhabited islet in the park strait that was formed due to volcanic eruption in 14th century. The island is at the center of long-standing dispute between the fishermen of Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. Which is this island? Mannar Island? No. Delft Island? No. Pamban Island? No. Answer will be Kachatibu Island. Guys, this is topic is in news. So, you can expect question on Kachatibu Island. Today, all over the newspapers, this topic was covered 2-3 places so i felt that this topic is very important guys this is a unique way of asking questions they are giving you one paragraph and they will say that this paragraph describes which island so answer is kachatibu island guys map work it is very very important you can see this is the kachatibu island okay and it is located here okay in the park state it is located here in the park state guys kachatibu island is an uninhabited island 
in the Park Strait between India and Sri Lanka. Between India and Sri Lanka, guys, this is very, very important. One more important point is that Kachatibu Island was given to Sri Lanka as per the 1974 agreement. And right now, Kachatibu Islands, okay, in that fishing for the Indian fishermen are not allowed. Although there is an annual festival called St. Antony's Church Festival where the Indian fishermen can also visit the island. So this is a very, very important, guys, topic. And this is very popular in UPSC. You can see UPSC has already asked question. You can see here Park Bay. UPSC has already question asked in 1996. The Park Bay lies between. So you can see here the answer will be Gulf of Mannar and Bay of Bengal. You can see Gulf of Mannar and Bay of Bengal. So this is Park Bay. Okay. And this is the Park Strait. And here is the Kachatibu Island. Similarly, guys, you can see UPSC has already asked question on disputed islands disputed islands you can see upsc asked question on 2022 so guys such kind of questions on disputed islands are very popular in upsc so you can get this question on kachatibu island in the prelims 2024 also this year also this topic can come very very important and next year also it is very very important okay guys let us move to the next question the next question you can see here consider the following monetary stability currency management inflation targeting and regulating banking sector how many of the above are functions of rbi guys the answer is all four monetary stability is the function of rbi currency management is also the function of rbi inflation targeting is also a function of rbi and regulating banking system is also the function of rbi so guys rbi was created as i told you on 1st of april 1935 under the act of reserve bank of india 1934 the rbi was constituted for regulating the bank notes maintaining reserves and securing monetary stability operating credit currency system for the country's advantage here you come across few terms which are very popular in upsc problems is that rbi is bankers to the government rbi is banker to the government and rbi is bankers bank okay rbi is bankers bank rbi is lender of last resort Okay, so they can give you what is lender of last resort. They can give you what is bankers bank, what is bankers to the government. These kinds of terms are very popular in UPSC prelims examination. Let me show some of the PYQs which have come on the topic. So guys, the first topic PYQ I will discuss is on the organization of RBI. You can see here 2021 question, the Reserve Bank on Reserve Bank of India. The Governor of Reserve Bank of India is appointed by the central government. Yes, this is correct. Certain provisions of the constitution of india give certain give the central government the right to issue directions to the rbi in public interest this is incorrect guys constitution does not give that okay in the rbi act there is one provision as per the rbi act okay we have a condition where the central government can direct the rbi guys you see the first question which i gave was okay the second question you see i was talking about is rbi governor a constitutional post so rbi governor is not a constitutional post there i mentioned about the rbi act okay so this is not given in the constitution rather than it is given in the rbi act it is given in the rbi act so this straight second statement will be incorrect you can see here second statement will be incorrect one second statement will be incorrect so one and three is the answer you can see governor of rbi draws his power from the rbi act okay next question you can see the reserve bank of india acts as a banker's bank guys i was telling you these terms are very important bankers bank bankers to government lender of last resort so you can see this question 2012 question why it is called bankers bank because other banks can retain their deposit with rbi yes it is correct rbi lends to funds to the commercial banks at times of need yes it is also correct rbi advises commercial banks on monetary matters it is also correct so the answer is d option d next see we let us see other pyqs also the aim of the lead bank scheme the aim of a lead bank scheme is what guys so okay so the lead bank scheme is guys you can see here individual bank should adopt a particular district for intensive development guys lead bank scheme was introduced by the rbi in order to achieve uh, banking and financial inclusion so in this what happens is that individual bank in every district is given the leadership role again you see related topic came again in 2019 service approach service area approach is implemented under the purview of so the answer will be what guys lead bank scheme the service area approach lead bank 
scheme. You can see how UPSC is repeating the PYQs. That is why analyzing the PYQs is very important. But random analysis of PYQs will not help. You have to link it to the current affairs. This year, since RBI is completing 90 years, so a lot of questions you can expect regarding RBI. Guys, you see other questions in India, which of the following is responsible for maintaining the price stability by controlling inflation. So the answer is what? Reserve Bank of India. Just now we have discussed the function of RBI. Here we were discussing what is the function of RBI. In that function of RBI, we have talked about that one of the function of RBI is what? Inflation targeting. One of the function of RBI is what? Inflation targeting. So you can see how UPSC questions we can solve easily if we solve the PPP daily. Another question you can see which of the following is true about the monetary policy committee. It decides the RBI benchmark interest rates. Yes, it is a 12 member body. No, it is a six member body. So statement two gone, statement two gone, one and three is left. It functions under the chairmanship of our union finance minister. No, it functions under the chairmanship of RBI governor. So this is incorrect. One is correct. You see MPC is very, very important. MPC is responsible for basically the benchmark interest rates to control inflation and the target has been given how much target has been given guys okay four plus minus two percent four plus minus two percent is the target which is given to control inflation okay cpi target let us go to the next question guys last question you can see consider the following statements the reserve bank of india was set up on the basis of recommendations of Rayleigh commission this is incorrect guys okay the reserve bank of india act 1934 provides for the statutory basis of functioning of rbi yes this is correct as i told you on 1st april 1935 okay this was created under the reserve bank of india act 1934 reserve bank of india was nationalized in 1950 this is again incorrect it was rationalized in 1949 guys whenever upsc will give facts generally those will be incorrect generally those will be incorrect this is called option elimination this is called option elimination facts are generally incorrect in the upsc you can re remove that again whenever upsc will mention any committees or any authority or any ministry generally those statements are also incorrect so really commission is incorrect guys it was not the really commission rather than it was the hilton young commission which recommended establishment of rbi hilton young commission and RBI was nationalized in the year 1949. Why I have given this statement? Because this statement is very, very important. Nationalization of RBI. Already UPSC has asked questions in the past on nationalization of SBI. So they can ask you about this also. So guys, answer will be guys only one. Only one will be the correct answer. Guys, here I have given you a list of some chronological events regarding the RBI, which is very important. You can see on 1st of April 1935 RBI commences its operation and Sir Osborne Smith was the first reserve bank governor. Okay guys, this is very very important. 1935 we can see cash reserve ratio was introduced. Again you can see guys 1949 RBI was nationalized. This was the, so you see how beautifully I have given you the chronology and guys that question which came in the PYQ's lead bank scheme. You can see here lead bank scheme banking the credit gaps in india 1969 lead bank scheme was introduced and in 1969 only 14 major commercial banks were nationalized nationalization of banks is very very important one more important fact which you should know is that cd desmukh was the first rbi governor who was an indian who was an indian okay as first rbi governor was osborne smith but he was not an indian cd desmukh was an first indian rbi governor in 1943 so guys, I hope you liked my discussion. You liked my way in which I have linked to the PYQs and I have discussed the top five questions from today. The most important topic today was the RBI 90 years and the Kachatibu Island. Both I have discussed in depth. I have framed different kinds of questions, how we can analyze this topic. You can see we have solved how many questions? We have solved at least one, two, three, four, okay, four, five, six, six PYQs we have solved only on RBI. This is how this session is going to help. Guys, if you like this session, please do hit the like button and share this with your friends. Guys, I can assure you if you follow this, no one can stop you from qualifying the prelims examination next year. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.